The armed forces opened fire on the electrical substation in the LPR of HIMARS. The armed forces fired at an electrical substation on the outskirts of Starabels with projectiles from the American HIMARS dual rocket launcher system. The LPR representative office at the Joint Center for Control and Coordination of the Armistice Regime reported on Telegram. Earlier, Ukrainian soldiers again tried to open fire on a civilian crossing near the Antonovsky Bridge in Kherson. The attack was repelled by means of air defense. The previous attack on the Kherson crossing was carried out by the Ukrainian side on the night of the 21st of October. It was then hit by the HIMARS MLRS cluster missile. As a result of the impact, four people died. 13 people were injured. To continue the war, Russia is replenishing units with mobilized persons and removing military equipment from storage. The invaders are shelling the positions of Ukrainian troops along the contact line and conducting aerial reconnaissance. Today, the enemy once again carried out missile and airstrikes on the infrastructure and homes of the civilian population violating the norms of international humanitarian law, the laws and customs of warfare. In total, Russian troops carried out two missile and 25 airstrikes and about 30 attacks using multiple launch rocket systems. According to updated information, the destruction of enemy personnel and equipment on October 22 was confirmed. Four D-30 howitzers and three trucks with ammunition were destroyed in the area of the city of Enerhodar, Zaporizhia region and about 50 Russian soldiers were killed and about 40 others were wounded. In one direction, two Russian Urigan multiple rocket launchers were damaged. Aircraft of the Defense Forces of Ukraine carried out six strikes on October 23. The destruction of six areas of concentration of weapons and military equipment of the enemy was confirmed. Earlier today, air defense units of the armed forces of Ukraine shot down 12 Shahed-136 drones. Missile troops and artillery of the Defense Forces of Ukraine, for their part, hit a command post, five areas of concentration of manpower, weapons and military equipment, an ammunition depot and an anti-aircraft missile complex of the Russian troops. As of October 23, Russia lost about 67,470 soldiers in its war in Ukraine, including 400 in the past day alone. 